All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balanced Diet of Teletainment this morning. Now, if you check your go-go, you go see, they're quite sentimental right now because for some parts of Lagos, we don't get showers of blessing. And while the showers of blessing they share, we get better information to Yan giving this morning because inside our midst, we're heavily blessed. And now we're blessed with doctors. We, they took them out on top. I matter. This one, they'll be Sabinus and professionals for inside their field. You're going to need to help me make welcome to my far left, we get Dr. Oyele here, and to my immediate left, we get um, Dr. Fadiri. Fadiri, you now welcome to the studio this morning. Good now, morning. we know say um, tomorrow in our world site today, and a lot of things um, they happen. We get a lot of events, get a lot of packages, and awareness in particular about caring for the eye. Because when I enjoy it, people they complain. So they never try better food finish. They toss him a good look for. We'll go find eye doctor. If we find eye doctor, they must find something for inside our eye. We get coma. But looking at the scenario now, looking at the eye in particular, um, case studies done day say at certain times of the year, some kind of sickness of the eye they happen. Take for example now, they say if you look at now, Apollo day in section. You can't be like say Apollo get school. They get when did they resume? They get when did they go on midtime break? They get when did they go on long summer holiday? And they get when did they resume back? So, Mark, tell us, because this eye, this Apollo team, not be only children in the affect, even adults. It's even worse with children. But adults, they also get them. What thing they happen? How will we fit to prevent them? What thing this Apollo? Who send them? Now for village? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Apollo is a um, viral infection. Uh -huh. And it's something that can be curtailed. But because when you're in close community, children... They rub their eyes, they touch themselves at home. We use the same towels, we wash our face, faces, we use the same towels. So we're just passing it in between. But the thing with it is that even if you do not do anything, 14, 15 days, it will go on its own. But well, I, I need to understand that very well. If you don't do anything on top of the Apollo, if you don't put eye drop, you know, you go work out on your own, maximum of two weeks. Yes, because it's a viral infection. Oh, so it will take its course. What, what happens is that when this happens, we tend to put all sorts into the eye. And infection will go on top of them. And then with the infection, the eye becomes reddish, bringing out and like milk, water, water, and everything. And when things happen, we're fond of putting everything in our eyes. Sugar water, mm. battery water, urine, and everything. And when that happens, the front of the eye will get damaged. The thing will heal, like I said. But when it heals, it now leaves a complication the front part where they shine will come white. The person will not see again. And then you will now be wondering what has happened. The good thing is that that kind of situation can be repaired with cornea. That is getting from somebody who has died that you're able to remove the cornea, that clear part, the front of the eye, and use it to remove that one, we don't wait for the person and put it on the other person, and that person will see. All right. But it's something, it's a viral infection, mm. and it comes it's on, it does not need to lead to anything if we are careful. Just clean water, because you'll be feeling as if something is inside the eye. So you just use clean water to wash the eye, go to the hospital, Go and see an eye doctor and use ordinary antibiotics. But when you go to the chemist, they will give you something where it contains steroid. And steroid, for some of those things, are bad because we misuse them. You so infection it. will go oh. over it, and that is the, comp the complication. All right. Now, that's just one case study. Now, looking at this um, World site Day with the Shelley tomorrow, um, waiting we they do in terms of um, awareness for people um, concerning this, uh, the sight and the importance of taking care of the eyes, doctor? Okay. Thank you very much. Tomorrow is World Sight Day all over the world. Africa, Europe, America, Asia, all over the world is World Sight Day. And it's usually the second Thursday in October 
every year. So this year it's Thursday, the 10th of October. And the importance is to talk about sites. And the theme for this year is vision first. So everybody should put their vision first. Now, in terms of activities, our organs in Alausa have organized a walk for sites. Starting from the Federal Ministry of Health in Alausa, to, uh, Lagos State Ministry of Health in Alausa tomorrow. Here, we are partnering with the Iru, local government development area, through the through Honorable Rashida Tadu to do screening on Muri Okwala here at the local government secretariat. So anybody who is around here who would like their eyes screened, come anytime between nine and one, and uh, you have a whole team of eye doctors doing the screening. But the importance for us is to raise the popularity about eye tests. But like we always say, everybody should have an eye test regularly. So, Auntie, when did you have your own eye test last? I had my eye test earlier this year. Fantastic. Um, because for some people, some people don't understand, say, they're very important. Yes. And if you don't care for them, you don't go care for you when that time reach. Exactly. Yes, care for so, now you want to tell people tomorrow, say, make everybody do eye test. No, be only tomorrow. Make everybody do test every year. Yeah. How do often every test. year? If no problem, once yes, a year. Yeah. If you get a problem, the doctor will tell you how many times you could come, whether or not every week or every month or every three months. Or, but now that doctor will see you, he will tell you how often you go come. All right. So how much people go actually pay for this eye test with the Shelley tomorrow for the, um, for the local government center around Maria Online? Free. 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 Completely free. of charge. Completely free. free. free and um, no age restriction. Anybody, if you come, no. Anybody, just walk in between just the time, 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. And 1 a.m. It's finishing a little bit after 1, but you need to get there before 1 so that at least we can register, plan for you, and do things like that. Mm. All right, yeah. now looking at this, um, our eyes, uh, if you tell us one or two things concerning how to care for the eyes, the reason why they ask because um, people, they wear, they suppose use glasses, but they, they fear, because if you want to start to use glasses, you're on glasses for life. Some people don't understand, say, there, it's there for a reason, and it's there for a time. We don't, right. Some people don't know, say there's a timeline for you to wear glasses. So tell us some of the things we'll do in terms of caring for the eyes okay. and um, to encourage people to come out of fear of the need for glasses. Yes, you, you reminded me of a story. We did this same screen in the Optometric Society of Nigeria, the Lagos State. We did this same screening a few years ago at a motor park. And we got a lot of taxi drivers, downfall drivers, the long uh, haul drivers, and we tested them. A lot of them needed glasses. So one man can't tell us, say, oh, guy, if I wear glasses, I did drive down for. You think anybody go enter my motto? Mm -hmm. So, as you said, <laughs> people need it and they refuse to wear it. The important thing is, first of all, there are some conditions that you don't even know you have them. And until you have that eye test, for example, glaucoma, the second most common cause of blindness in the world. So if you don't test and they check for glaucoma, people will say, oh, I can't see far away and everything. You know, I have some friends. Yeah, anybody coming one mile away, I can't see and everything. But that is not what it's about. Have the eye test. In glaucoma, you don't know there's any problem. You can be seen miles away. Because it's starting from the side that you lose your vision. Things like cataracts. You have it. If you go blind from cataracts, have an operation on 20, 30 minutes, vision is completely restored. So there are a lot of things that can be done. If you have glaucoma, we cannot restore vision in glaucoma, but we can stop it from getting worse. So it's important we diagnose things early. So there are lots of things you benefit from the eye test. You can even do tests on people, and then you tell them ah, there are other problems in your body. And they say, how do you know? You say, because I've looked in your eye, looked at the back of the eye, the blood vessel. Sometimes you tell people that, they most likely have diabetes or hypertension. And they check and they find out it's true. So it's very important to have an eye test. So how would you come with that stigma or that fear of the need to wear glasses and understanding, say, some, in some cases, it's not going to be forever. In some cases, it will be just for a couple of months, just to correct the sight. How would you let people understand, say, um, glasses is not a bad thing, just like the downfall mm -hmm. driver actually um, they try to reject them, make a license in a prayer point. Make Dr. Badiri answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate that um, this happens, especially in children. You find some children, they said they're not doing well in school. 
But the simple reason is because they're not seen. And when those children are picked up, tested for glasses, and given glasses, everything completely changes. They start doing very well in school. They're not bumping into things. But it's until when it is done, when you use it, that is when you know. It's difficult at times to change people's mindset. Some people claim when you wear glasses, your eyes will be going inside. I've been wearing glasses for so long, and I don't think my eyes have gone inside. So these are the things that when we have all this screening, we tend to tell people, allay their fears, that there's nothing wrong with wearing glasses. It's to correct your sight and make you see better. Because a lot of people at times don't even know that they're not seeing well, like he said, until when they put on the glasses and say, I thought I was seeing well. I thought I could see the leaves on that tree individually. But I thought that is how everybody is seeing. Hmm. So until when you do the test before you know. All right. Now, um, from glasses, make we enter contact lens. Because some people say, they don't, I know, I don't like glasses. But if you tell them, contact lenses, would you do that? They say, okay, I can try it. Now, we don't get recommended contact lenses. Now, the first one we first come out, where everybody is. But now we've gotten to a stage where it's becoming a fashion. People are using the shako, what they call it shako-mended. Yeah, shako-mended contact lenses yeah. um, for fashion and for, the, the, maybe they don't like the eye color, but for whatever reason, would they say shako-mended um, 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 contact lenses is on the rain now? If you tell us whether or not um, the implications of these contact lenses, be it the recommended or be it the recommended, because this eyes all they talk, it's a very delicate part of our body. You get as you go do, you go pull finger out. Just let us know some of the, the implications. With, of, whether of it this. is recommended or recommended, the most important thing is that those contact lenses must be used the way it is meant to be used. Keep it clean put it in the solution, make sure the solution is clean. And when they say daily wear, you wear it in a day and remove. Not sleep with it overnight. No, we, we try to dissuade people from sleeping with it. Because at times when you're sleeping, you rub your eyes, you do everything. The, the contact lens may come off, they can go to the side of the eye and whatever. Because if dirt or anything gets in the contact lens and you put it back on and it abrades your cornea, that is, causes the cornea to scratch, or at times it can get stuck on the cornea, when it is removed, the damage comes in and then the cornea becomes opaque, that is whitish, not as crystal clear as it's supposed to be. And then you'll now be looking for donor corneas. And unfortunately, in Nigeria, we don't believe for now that we can donate anything, no organ, even when we die. Mm. But the corneas are only taken after death, not before death. But people believe, oh, I must go back the way I came. Yeah, looking at because this, you they call cornea now, they make people they people know to understand. Cornea now which part of the eye? Because now big the, now you both grandma be that what they talk about. That is the very front first part of the eye. That one where they shine. The white look, you mean about the white part of the no, eye? No, no, no. The one where they in front of that black where they shine. Oh, when a small circle. Eh, eh, oh, that's one small, small circle, circle where they inside the eye eh, itself. Eh, where they for front. Ah. Pata, pata. I see. Okay, the small circle in the uh, middle uh, of the eye. The front part, where they oh. pata pata that now, the cornea. And it's supposed to be clear. That, that, that uh -huh. circle in the middle. Mm -hmm. that, that one, that one, one that is the pupil. Mm -hmm. The cornea is, is transparent. You know, go sit see them. It's okay. completely clear, so you can't see it. It's just like oh. the windscreen of a car. Oh. It's a transparent thing. So in front of the colored part, the oh, that is the cornea. So in front of exactly. that, in front of that small exactly. black circle, yes, that, there's a transparent in front of all layer. That yes, yes, part is yes. The, the transparent yeah. layer exactly. where we don't see because mm -hmm. they transparent. So instead, they reflect the color exactly. of the yes. pupil. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. That that one where they black. That is the one people they they don't like the color. That now yes. that now when they do use the recommended um, contact, contact lenses. lenses yes. So that one you put it on, it gives a different color. 
beautiful. Now let's talk about Iris. children because we're inside Nigeria here and Africa at large. When I'm small picking them, you hardly see them wear glasses. But mm -hmm. you go just if you be parents, you go see say the feet hit something when they walk off the road. Sometimes with some parents they will say, Ah, you know they see road. They don't know say that, that that's a sign say the picking actually needs to go for an eye check. Yeah. But even when the picking go for eye check and they tell the mama say or the palace say he need to wear glasses, they go say, God forbid, it's not my portion. Yeah. At this small age, they wear glasses. What you want to they do in now is 20, 30, 40, 50. So what be the how will go fit change that mindset? Because over though you boy, you go see small children, two year old, three year old, they, they wear glasses if they need it. They get this thing for back of the glasses, we go make her not to fall. Because listen that small, small children. But in Africa here, we see say children, we actually need these glasses. Don't actually use it, Doctor Abek. What if you talk about this one? Okay. What you said is very, very true. Parents don't like their children wearing glasses. Even when they're wearing themselves. <laughs> So we have to talk, talk and talk, educate and educate them why it is important children need the glasses. And the biggest way to do that is put the glasses on the child, ask them what they can see. Take the glasses off, ask them what they can see. And if the parents actually see it themselves, that, ah, my child is seeing this, and the child tells them, ah, I've never seen things in detail before, they will agree for them to wear glasses. But it's a lot of education, yeah. education, education. But it's important if you need glasses, you wear the glasses. It's very important, yeah, no matter what sense. age group. Okay, so I'm going to get some tips from, from the two doctors in the house in terms of how to care for the eyes. Um, doctor, you can first tell us one or two tips in terms of what we need to do to care for the eyes, to make sure, say, um, we do the right thing to make it lasting and um, and durable, at least, on top of our human body. Okay. So we all want our eyes to last 100 years or however long we live, okay? So the first thing is make sure you have your eyes checked on a regular basis. As a child, there are some diets that are very good or very essential for the eyes. Diets that have vitamin A, for example, to have oil or maybe a bit of palm oil in the, in the food and cooking as a growing child, okay? Now, when you get older, the thing is also now, this is where the contact lens issue comes in. A lot of people want to put in contact lenses when they get to the age of 13 or 14, especially females, and they may not be old enough to do that. Wearing contact lenses, no matter your age, comes with responsibility. So if anybody is going to wear contact lens, they must be responsible for putting the lens in, taking it out, and yeah. crying for help if they suspect a problem. Don't wait until there's a problem. If you think there's a problem, just take the lens out, put it away, and then whoever is uh, your contact lens practitioner. So if you want to start wearing contact lens, just don't go to a retail shop and buy the contact lens and start learning how to do it. No must come through an eye doctor who will examine you and make sure you are suitable for contact lenses because there are some eyes that are just not suitable. I don't think we should go into that detail now. All right, doctor, any other tip? And we should not just put anything in the eyes. If you have to, because you're not able to reach your eye care provider, don't put any other thing more than clean, water or ordinary antibiotics. Don't go asking for steroid. Don't put urine. Don't put um, even breast milk. You know, some babies, after birth, they start having discharges. And the old wife's tale is that uh, you put breast milk. Those things are not for the eyes. Don't put breast milk, don't put onion water, don't put battery water, don't put anything in the eye. Engineer. Engineer, yes. Hmm. Yes. Wow. Because they believe that when you put something in the eye and it hurts, that is when it's working. Wow. So we wow. should not put anything in the eye because the eye is meant to last us till we go. But... If we are careless with it, we'll end up without sight. Wow. And closing our eyes and trying to walk around, 
Like somebody says, if you ask me whether I want to be deaf or blind, I prefer to be deaf. Because when people are running, you can see the, the direction they're running. But when you're blind, you're hearing people run, you don't know what direction, and you might be running towards the danger. So Thank we need so to much. keep our eyes very, very healthy. Thank you so much. Once again, doctor, please tell us where um, this, the ice cream in the Shelley and what time in the Shelley tomorrow. Okay. Iru, local council development area, Muri Okwala, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., Thursday, 10th of October, 2019, and work for site in Alausa, Lagos State Government, starting from the Ministry of Health building. Beautiful. All this one they share tomorrow, tomorrow will be World Site Day. Thank you so much for coming to the building and for coming to the studio also and for enlightening us on top of how to care for the eyes. Thank you very much. To enjoy more of these our get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.